I'm definitely gonna be sleeping on the plane a little bit. And if it gets a little bright, bam. Set. I'm out, dude. Set. I'm out. out. And if I can't sleep, I've got not one <clears throat> Stephen King novel. Okay. I got it. Right. And on top of that, not two Stephen King novels, not three Stephen King novels. Okay. Night shift. Right here. What? It, why are you giving them these things right now? <laughs> <laughs> and then I got this. What else should um, I bring? Oh, suntan lotion. Sun. Oh lotion. yeah, yeah. I hear that about London. It's uh. So you're just going. Yeah. So what's this girl like? She is. Uh, she's really cool. Oh well, yeah, fly across the Atlantic for it. I'm sure she's pretty. She better be. Well, we've been texting and uh, writing for like three months. Okay, okay. She's super nice, super cool. Loves the outdoors. Yeah. Really smart. Okay. So how much is this plane ticket running? Twelve hundred bucks. All right. <laughs> I've been saving up for it. Look, I've never been before, so I figure it's like a, it's a long overdue trip for me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that sounds great. It just It'd be nice if you want if you if you think about paying me back a little bit before you keep on Yeah, I just I really need to get my car fixed, you know? No, I and I can't tell I, you if I can tax Twelve hundred dollars to meet someone you've never met before is just, it's a I little hard for me to swallow sometimes. That's I'm, I'm excited that, for you too. Look, I've met her. We've, ta we've been talking for you know, three months online. It's different and you know that. She's a real deal. You know, I've been to her Facebook profile. I've been to her OkCupid profile. And, you know, unless she's faking a whole life and she's, she's real and she's fucking awesome. And I can't wait to meet her. I don't know. It's like the way I the way I look at it. Like, if I, what am I going to meet some girl at a bar? Like, then I don't know who she is. She could be a serial killer. She could no, be. No, I'll, I'll follow you on I'm that. I'm putting myself out there. What can I say? Like, I don't see you putting yourself out there. This could be the right girl for me. This could be the girl I get married to. For all I know. Is that really what you want, though? Because that's not exactly been your reputation in the last few years, or ever. Not by my choice. I'm the one getting dumped. Well. Five girls in the last two years. Yeah, no. The longest relationship was three weeks, and that was fucking Deborah, the bitch. Yeah, every one of them ends up being the bitch, though. I've been talking with this girl longer than I've dated the other five girls combined. You know, you should put yourself out there yourself, you know, and just and get out and try to meet girls, whether it's bars or fucking yeah, comic man. book shops or wherever the hell you want. Church? Go to meet girls at church. I haven't been going. No. Well, I've done the church girl circuit, and that's. Sounds a lot worse than it is, but uh, you should just fuck him. Go ahead, just fuck him. It's all wanna... we've talked. You don't about have to wait till marriage. Times. I don't all need right. to have this conversation. All right. Look, uh, at the very least, you should put yourself out. Get on OK Cupid. Right, did you hear what I said? OK Cupid. Plenty of fish. Match dot com. So you can actually meet girls that are that are interesting and cool and maybe different than who you normally meet at church or on the street or in some stupid bar, meet some alcoholic girl you don't want to hang out with. At least put yourself online. You're gonna meet girls that you would have never met otherwise, and some of them are gonna be really cool, and you can, they will match you with people that you have a lot in common with. It doesn't have to lead to anything. Lord knows most of my dates are shit. It never does, yeah. But I met yeah. this girl. I met this girl yeah, on yeah. OkCupid, for crying out loud. Yeah, okay, no, Cupid. I did an international search for the girl that I have the most in common with, and it ends up being a Middle Eastern woman who lives in London, you know? And you that's really my, think, that's my... And you really think that? Yeah. This is the woman that's like the most compatible for you? Yeah, I do. At least for now. She's yeah. awesome, dude. You wanna see a picture of her? Yeah, I'd love to see. Look at this, look at this. Oh. That's her, that's right. her. She is, How is lying. What the hell is that? I don't know. Look at this dog. She's, look at she's dog. gorgeous. She's beautiful. Her dog is almost as cute as she is. <laughs> look, I'm going to find out. I'm going to go yeah. and I'm going to meet her and, you know, and if it's a catfish, then I'm just going to have a great story to tell people. Okay. If it's a boy or an old, disgusting man, then I'm just going to fucking bitch slap him and walk off. <laughs> and then I'll probably cry a few tears, too, because it would be hard to believe it. She's not real. But check this out. Come on. Passenger M. Martin to the podium.
We're still voting group uh, 2 and 3 at 77B9342 London, and voting group 1 at 77A to the left of the podium at gate 77. Slip the elastic band over your head and tighten the straps. The bag may not inflate while oxygen is flowing. Make sure your mask is secure before helping others. You'll find a life vest under or near your seat. When directed, pull the tab to remove the pouch. Tear it open, remove and unfold the vest. Slip it over your head. Wrap the belt around your waist and secure it to the buckle in front. Pull the loose end to tighten. This aircraft is also...
or satellite partner flight in the near future. Thank you and good day.
It all comes down to this, fourth and 15 from the 13 yard line. I got the fucking ball in my hands. I gotta make the right read. I might throw it to Michael Irvin to my right. Maybe I'll throw it to Jay Novacek to my left. Maybe I'll throw it to Alvin Harper in the back of the end zone. Because nobody thinks I'm going to throw it to fucking Alvin Harper. Nobody does. He's a no-name. And I'm going to make him a superstar. I got to come through. It's on me. This game is on me. It's my team. I brought us here. I bring us home. Give me the fucking trophy, and then I give it to the team. That's what this guy's gonna do. No fucking around. It's fourth down. My down, bitch. My fucking down. You better step up, because I'm fucking gonna ram this shit down your throat. Nothing gets in the way. Not the fucking 85 Bears. Not the undefeated Miami Dolphins. Not the fucking Patriots from five years ago. Fuck you, Tom Brady. I'm Tom Brady. I'm gonna do this. Baby, I am ready for you. I'm ready for the Gatorade. Pour it all over my fucking back because I earned it. I hope it stings. I want it to sting. Nazanin, I love you. I fucking love you. Give me the ball. <laughs> okay, oh, I got you. London is dangerous. This is amazing. I'm here. My God, you're in this. Game. I'm in London. This is insane. I'm glad you wore the red bow. I know. I'm because I couldn't see you, and I saw it from a distance. You look prettier in person than online. I feel like you've already met the real. <laughs> Don't you feel like you met I do, I do. Oh, your accents throw me off. Because you haven't heard my voice yet, this is why. It's beautiful. Oh, no. Uh, I love your accent, oh my god. Can you tell that I'm from Texas? Yes. No, not really. A little do bit country. No, do you know what you sound like? Who do I look like? You look like Richie. Richie? Richie Cunningham. Richie Cunningham! Oh Monday, Tuesday, la, la, la. <laughs> I guess I got made fun of a lot in middle school for that. So. Really? Bad memory. For looking like Richie I got made fun of all the time. You so are like, oh, Richie Cunningham! You're better right. looking than Richie Cunningham. <laughs> Thank you. Better than the Fonz. I always wanted to be the Fonz. No, not the Fonz. <laughs> I like his leather jacket though. <laughs> they are very American. I like it. <laughs> just happy to meet you. <laughs> well, wait, wait, let's do something. Let's grab some food or something. Look at the king. Yeah. so cute. Come, you want to see the park? I would love to see the okay. park. It's gorgeous. It reminds me of Central Park. <laughs> Except a little gloomier. <laughs> this is a good day, you know. Yeah. So the white birds, they are known to be the monogamous birds. Mm -hmm. So they never ever breed with other birds. They're okay. for life, you know? Then once they meet, they're just together. They're together. There's, like no, there's no divorce in bird life. No, this is not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> he sings for you. They're singing to us. But these are very dirty. These are the dirty ones. Very dirty. You know, in some countries they eat these. Really? Do they do that in Iran? No, not really. We only have the kebab. Kebab? Is that, uh, is that cow? Juche kebab. I will take you, don't you? <laughs> I will cook for you. Oh, I would love that. I would love to have some Iran or Persian food. I, I've never had Persian food before. Oh, oh my god. That's so beautiful. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. <laughs> so cute. I love kids. Really? For two hours. Huh? I love kids. Oh. And then after that, I, I I can't handle it anymore. They're exhausting. 
But I've got two nephews. Do you? And they are wonderful. But after two hours of playing video games and sports, you, you are just, your head's about to explode. And you just want to get, on, get in your car, blast some music, and just drive away. But you are a good uncle? I'm a fun uncle. You know, I'm the fun uncle. I get to hang out for a couple hours, mm -mm. have a lot of fun, and then I get to leave. But you learn. I get to leave the kids. <laughs> you learn to, you know, Oh my God, Hitchcock the birds. We're getting attacked. This is basically what London Underground is like. <laughs> All of us. Like, that's what I felt like. You can turn around and smile. Okay. Oh, that's a, wow, that one really. He stepped on that other one to get that food. Oh. <laughs> you got Take scared. me away from me. I will save you. <laughs> you were scared, huh? I saw it in yeah. your eyes. You, know, you have to really get me have... flustered about something. Uh huh. You know, but I, I, I have a pretty good control of my temper most of the time. I would say. Yeah. Yeah. I never punched my father, but I wanted to a few times. Really? I did. Um, I've punched a few other people. Have you really? When I used to play sports, I used to play a lot of soccer. And, uh, you know, on the soccer field. Mm. It's, I guess you call it football here. Oh, yes, it's football. football yes. yes. You know, someone kicks you in the leg or trips you, like I would sometimes. You punch him. I would punch him back and I would get thrown oh, out of the game. I was very, I was very violent on the field. Um, I, I like that, you know, I, I like to talk. If someone's going to talk smack to me, I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk back. So tell me about you a little bit. I mean, I've been rambling. How long have you lived here? I've lived here now for one year. Mm -hmm. um, I moved from Tehran. Mm -hmm. That's in, in, is that in Iran? In Iran, yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, and um, I, my fam with my whole family, with my four brothers and my mom and my father. Um, and we have been working here. He's a doctor and my brother does all older than me, so I'm this little one in the family. So, do you still live with your family? Mm, of course. You live with your family until you're married, and then you move out. Or sometimes your your husband comes and moves in as well, and you spend um, time together. With the family? Yes, why not? And then you buy your yeah, own cool. place. Oh, cool. Mm. So, it, does that drive you crazy sometimes, living with your family? No, I love it. Don't you love it? Living with family? <laughs> I did when I was 12. <laughs> so beautiful out here. Do you feel like you're, you could be at home here? I think I could. I think I, I think I could live here. When you move here, do you know what part of London you want to live in? Well, there's... Wimbledon. I've heard of that. Is that a neighborhood? Wimbledon's okay. <laughs> It's, but you want somewhere nice and central. Um, South Kensington is really good. So South we, Kensington. Mm. We can look at some of the properties around there, and and you can see what kind of taste you like. I will show you sure. what I like. No, I would love that because I don't really know where the cool neighborhoods are. So you then you can see yourself um, living with me. Um, I, I mean, if things go well. so soon. <laughs> I can, it's yeah. so soon. <laughs> no, I can uh, uh, But I feel like we get along really well. Mm, oh, I'm sure it'd be so simple. And also, love develops so much, doesn't it, afterwards? Um, I lived with a girlfriend a couple years ago, and we got along great for a while. And then when we moved in together, it was just hell. It was just, as soon as we moved in, we just... Uh, just didn't get along. Could she not cook very well or? No, she was a fantastic cook, but you know. Oh. She was kind of a bitch, I mean, to be honest. Have you ever lived with anyone before? Well, um, my brother's wife came, so I've experienced changes in the house when, when she came. Okay. I'm very <laughs> upfront, you know? It's, yeah. I'm like an, um, an open book. You, you believe in God, yes? <laughs> well, uh, my family used to go to church oh. and we sang all the songs. It was a Methodist Christian church. Oh, okay. So what, what is your religion? I am a strong Muslim, 
okay. a Muslim believer and um, but you know conversion isn't really that hard either and right. you can sleep in on Sundays which you like I do like sleeping on Sundays um, here's a question I always like to ask somebody new where do you see yourself in 10 years in 10 years I have a 10 year plan already set out I have a 20 year plan set out so at 10 years um, well, the children will will be 10 years old and um, I think that Dariush and Jamshid will probably have finished school and then Caroline, we, ha we have a triplets in our family often, <laughs> you know, three times present. And so I think I have triplets and then when they finish the private school, I will also be maybe doing more classes. I want to start Italian. The language. Mm -hmm. That's cool. You see yourself in 10 years. Um, in 10 years, my goal is to finally win my fantasy football league. That's my number one goal. I want to win my fantasy league. I've never won it before. Ah. I want to win it just once. This, so it's football, fantasy football. You know what that is? You want to, in, you want to invest in like Chelsea football team, <laughs> huh? No, it's, um, it's called fantasy football. And you draft players, and you so you draft players, and, and these players, um, however many touchdowns they score, oh. you get points. Okay. And whoever oh gets the most God. points, we have a child. This is our first child. I want to live with my girlfriend for at least a couple of years before I get married, so I know whether we're getting along. You know, and maybe adopt a dog first. And if you can raise a dog, and you can, and the dog can, you can get along with a the dog, then maybe think about pregnancy. Ah, uh, so you see, I think it's always good to have plans. Very good. And if you meet the right person, you can speed up the plan. And so, like one month later, you have dog, you have three kids, <laughs> you have new father-in-law. It's with the right person, things can change very quickly, huh? Maybe. You see, I, I feel the connection. I think you do too, huh? How strong. I do feel connected to you. I felt connected to you online but before we even met. And so meeting you, it's like it's even better. I do feel like there's something here. And I feel um, with our compatibility test we did, it shows that we will have a very strong future together. You know, I feel like we're, we're jumping on a bridge before we get to the river, you know what I'm saying? Bungee jumping. <laughs> I like this jumping. adventure, huh? Okay. I'm a little crazy. I'm crazy. I came here, didn't I? I'm feeling pretty crazy about you too. <laughs> I think you're great. And I'm glad that we decided to do this and meet because at first I thought it was stupid because you live so far away. I saw your commitment. You want to move here. You want to start a life with me. And I realized that, well, we're meant to be together. I have a surprise for you. What is it? Well, we are going to make a little journey to South Kensington, good postal code, and you will meet Mama and Papa. Right now? At your house? You're so excited! <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't. I don't mean to be insulting. I, I just. Made. You don't need to bring them gifts. It's okay. My brothers have taken the day off, so all four of them will be at home. Mommy has made so juicy kebab for you and her the best dish. You'll love it. Look, I think you're great, and I, I want to meet your parents at some point. I just don't know if I want to meet them right I, now. I know you want to spend time with me alone, but it is time to meet them both. Yalla, yalla Habibi. What, is yalla, what does that mean? It means let's go. My bag is really heavy. Thank you. Okay, so when you see Baba, the main thing you have to tell him is that he's got good taste in carpets. Wait, Love you. who's Baba? My Papa. Oh, that's Papa. My Baba. You can call him Baba too. He will love that. He expects that. Is this it? Yes. You look, look really, really look. good. They don't like too much shirt. I can't do this. Oh, 
And my grandma has come from Tehran when she heard that you were here, by the way. I forgot to tell you. She knows I'm coming as well? Surprise number two. I can't do this. I can't do this right now. I cannot do this right now. This is too soon, okay? I, I, I just met you. I look, I really like you. I think you're great. I, I came here to see you and I, and I think you're amazing. And I, I want to see you. I want to see you again. I really do. I can't meet your parents right now. I don't know you yet. This is fucked up. You see what I'm saying? This is so natural. You're feeling worried because we are seeing family. Yes, I am scared to death of meeting them because I don't know you yet. No, I'm um, so natural to be stressed. You're awesome. And I, I want to see you. I want to see you again. I really do. But I can't do this right now. This is fucked up. It's fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. Look, I want to see you. I want to hang out with you. I came here to see you. I want to do some stuff. I want to go to a play. I want to go to Buckingham Palace. I want to go to the Tower of London. I want to explore the city with you. But I don't want to see your parents right now. Do you know what I think it is? Don't even talk to me right now. Seriously, you're, 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 you're too nice. And you're, and you're saying this stuff and it's just driving me crazy. You're just you're getting stressed because you're hungry. We haven't eaten the whole day and your sugar levels are low. I am hungry. No, that is the problem. I, I am hungry. But I don't want to eat with your parents right now. Can we just go somewhere else right now? Let's just have food somewhere else. Don't be silly. Can they hear us? It's natural that you're What's you're natural? Worried. What's natural about meeting your family? I just met you. I want to know you. I am my I family. I think you're great. Now I want to get to know you first. But I am my family. What am I supposed to? I'm having a fucking panic attack right now. I, I'm ner it was, I, I'm nervous enough just meeting you, okay? I, I like you. But everyone is waiting to see you. This is too much to ask me right now. You're being a bitch. That's what you're doing. You're being a fucking bitch right now. And I don't, I, I don't, I don't want to see you right now. To be totally honest, I want to eat bomb. I want to eat a McDonald's hamburger right now by myself and poison myself. And I don't want to see you right now. I don't want to see you. I don't know if I can see you again because of all this shit. This is crazy. You understand? You said you do want to see me. Come, please. Just come upstairs for two seconds. This is fucked up. Two seconds. No. Please, don't go. Stay with me. Stay with me. I'm really sorry. I know you fucked him! You fucking got drunk and you fucked him! I've been curled up for three days! In my bed, I haven't even You're left! You're a fucking whore! Didn't I mean any- What? What about me? You Didn't you care? And you didn't even tell me that! Why would you tell me you fucked the guy for five days? What the fuck is going on? You can fucking lie all you want, but that's why you can't even look at me in the face. You can't even have a conversation with me. And don't tell me it's just because you feel guilty. Because you think you hurt me. You can't hurt me, because you know I fucking love you, and I always will. Get your fucking act together. Don't throw it away. I don't understand. Every time I fucking tell somebody I love me, they run away. 
Why would you think that's okay? I don't know. I don't get that. Why would you disappear like that? How can you be so stupid? No, seriously, how can you be so stupid? No, seriously. Why would you tell me you love me and then go off and fuck somebody like that? How do you fucking do that? Why was I worth enough for that? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Go to hell. You can't ask me to see how great I am and then walk away. It's not fucking fair. You're not allowed to do that. You can't ask me to believe in you and me and then leave.
Sorry, I... I'm both scared. I don't know what we... I don't care what I said. You're right. I know, I was the chicken shit. I was the one that caused a fucking... I was the one that caused all the fucking doubt in this goddamn relationship. I know that. I was hurt, I was angry. I said some st I'm an idiot, I was wrong, I was angry. This is hard for me too. I don't know. What am I supposed to say? I mean, really? You don't think I was a f 
You think I'm an idiot? Do you think nobody knew? Everybody fucking knew. Why did you say, I don't care if you go out and have sex. You should go, you should be having sex. Why would you say that? That it felt weird. You made that up. Nothing weird about anything. You fucking and I made thought you that just up. needed to go through this thing. Look, you took me by surprise. I don't know why, I just didn't think it would come up. And I thought you were just in pain. And I looked at it and I knew in the bottom of my heart that you were... You fucking were letting this fucker know that you were single. You asked for help and I tried. That's why when you asked me then right afterwards about asking what else I said when I said that I wanted to have a family with you. And I know you had gold nice. And the truth is you know I'm the one who fucked up. And you're never gonna let me even talk about it or say I'm sorry or anything. You're my friend. You're my friend and you're my home and you fucking walked away. And I wasn't worth the conversation. Why wasn't I worth that? I just wanted a conversation. Maybe I wouldn't be sitting there thinking about your dumb ass now. Just, um, wondering what you're up to. It's like, like 11, 11.15. Um, 
Let me know if you're free and you want to hang out. I'd love to see you. So hit me back. <laughs> okay, bye. It's the Mag Millie. Only oh, Mag is now on for me. Fuck yeah. Single Drink it for two. <laughs> Are we now that I'm pregnant? No, I'm not pregnant. I don't know why I said I'm drinking for two. I just mean I'm drinking twice as much alcohol. You're drinking for one. I'm single. <laughs> and that's how I do. Oh my god, I actually have a lot of alcohol. I think thought it would be traumatic. I thought I would be horrified, but I'm not. I feel good. It's hard though. It's hard when you've been with someone for a long time. He's it's a douchebag. You should take the heart away from what's next to his name and your cell phone. That's like a subconscious Yeah, that thing. is true. You're right. He doesn't deserve that heart next no. to his name anymore. I'll get like a grumpy face, like, mm. yeah, like or or like that that devil face. Yeah, the devil face would be good, or like a like a really small penis. <laughs> First of all, I mean, I was doing my own thing. I was I was I went out with my friend. I wasn't going on a date. Shit, I danced with the guys. I'm like, I enjoyed myself, <laughs> but I wasn't I wasn't out like dating anybody, and I just didn't want to respond because I was like, if the more I respond to his crazy messages. The more he thinks that, like, I'm going to do that and he's going to keep messaging me every single night. What are you doing? What are you doing? And then I'm like, you, do not, you don't get to know that. It's too difficult. I can't, like, it makes me feel guilty when I hang out with other guys. Like, I have this, like, regret and, like, he'll text me after. I'm like, ooh. Awkward. That's why, like, it was getting a little too crowded with all this shit here. And I feel like I wasn't visiting you. <laughs> no, I know. I was just doing both of you. Well, I never had any alone time. What has he got going on in his life? Like, what is he doing? Is that like, he yeah, it's like, go figure yourself out. Be a man, dude. Oh, <sighs> that's another thing. I'm so excited about, like, the cornucopia of penises in the world. There's so many out there that I haven't discovered yet. Oh, cornucopia of penises. <laughs> yeah. Just people. Just new experiences. I've just been with them for way too long. You never know what's just right around the corner, dude. Yeah, exactly. And that's, I'm not like, I'm not desperate. I'm not like, I need to find men. I want to be single, actually. I don't even, I'm, I'm just saying it shouldn't be a struggle. Love shouldn't be No, it struggle. should not. It should not. And it should go somewhere. It shouldn't just stay stagnant like a fucking, like, dirty pond or something. Like, it should be a river, you know? I just feel like nothing has changed in our relationship at all. And somebody had to put it out of its misery. Like, he already... He no, sabotaged he's the, it on purpose. He sabotaged it. He's the one with the wandering eye, and then now I'm the bad guy because I'm moving on. It's like, no, this relationship has been shit for a long time. You know it. I know it. You're not happy. I'm not happy. <laughs> it's like all of a sudden when you break up, you're like, we got the, the love of a life to me. Yeah, romance. The love of the love. It's like you just were calling me a bitch yesterday. I'm like, Yelling at me because I didn't put your laundry. You were stressed out. Every time I came here, you were stressed out. Like, not wanting to say the wrong thing, not wanting it's him true. to feel a certain way. I don't need that. I need to be just like, talk about. I, I can't be afraid to bring things up. It's a horrible feeling. No, and you're so not like that. No, I'm not. I, I bring everything up. It's never a bad thing. You're never going for like a negative, you know? No. It kills me. Do you mind drinking out of jars? No. Okay. Now I just feel like it's a crapshoot. Like, I never know what I'm going to get. Like, at least I knew, you know, that you had a nice dick. Now Ew, with these other guys. He's so unattractive. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You guys together, yeah. now that I know what you did to him, yeah. No. But no, the, I, I even, I hooked up with this other guy, and he was like a, it's an okay dick. It's not that great. You call it's a something shoot. I could work with. It, it's a crapshoot. Like, because I had a feeling, I was like, this guy's really sexy. But he's not super cocky. I was like, if he had a big dick, I think he would have a lot more attitude. Like, I was kind of putting up. I was like, he seems too nice to have a big dick. It's just, it, and it's not even that it makes a difference. Like, that's not going to make me come like, a big dick. It's just, like, the, the visual, you know? The visual of seeing a small dick. I'm like, oh, I don't want to sit on that very much. <laughs> I guess I, I will. I guess I will. But, I'm you know. I'm a love maker. I'm a love, I'm a love maker, too. And that's why, so I gave him another chance, and it was better the second time. And I was like, okay, all right. I don't, I don't need to be a bitch about this. Like, come on. I don't have big boobs. What if guys want big boobs, you know? You have a perfect What body. am I going to do? But whatever. I am really good in bed, though, so I feel like that I need, like, someone to match. Match my skills. What's driving my life today? Boy, driving my life today. 
what is driving your life today? What is driving your life today? What is driving my life today? What is driving your life? She said I never leave and I never go. This is all I need and this is all I know. My daughter's three and know she loves me so. And if we ever leave, I don't know where we go. Believe me, ain't for bad. Sometimes I just get sad. Sometimes I just get mad. If you knew the life we had, you know he had it bad. I know that there ain't no excuse, but I believe in God. I just wanna do my part. Now tell me what I'm doing wrong. I'm so confused, how do I do move along? Sometimes it ain't his fault. I know he loves me, he hugs me, kisses, and tells me that. Sometimes he tells me that, sometimes he hits me hard. What is driving my life today? What is driving my life today? What is driving your life today? What is driving your life today? No, I have a license for this. I have a card for this. Ticket to ride, or white line highway. <laughs> that song is supposed to make you not want to do drugs. I know, but it doesn't. They make it. It, it sounds Every like time a, I hear it. I'm like, sounds like a jingle. <laughs> it's like, don't do it. But it's so catchy. It's like, it makes you like your parents. They did so much by yeah. our age already. Like, I know. By my age, my mom had all these like kids, well, babies. all of these, but like two. But I know. my grandma. Yeah. Like, Holy fucking shit. I'll, Kids and married and yeah 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 marriage marriage but are we like it's like a new era but it's our generation it's wow. like it's we're on a whole another wavelength completely different I'm into it I'm well into we it. have to be into it we're in it we're living it we are it we're in <sighs> but that's why the parents they put so much pressure on us because they they don't understand they're they're a whole they're, different generation but then you get into the whole like vortex of time and reality and what it is and isn't yeah. and all that time and, has been going by so like that's crazy moments in time like years go by like that like mm. how long were we together mm. i don't even know and now fuck that dude don't even think about it yeah you gotta be your own person mm. Mm. that's what i'm realizing now like now is the time now the time Focus is on now me. the time is Focus now on me. i've been yeah. saying that repetitively I can... can you feel it like it's like, yeah. like it's this movement i feel like all my friends too you got, you got a little you got a little crumb Oh, or maybe that's what it what? is. What? We are in the womb of love. <laughs> it is. It is. Dude, come hang out with me. Goggles. <laughs> Just wanted. Oh, I'm still stank. Stank? Oh, well, I'm stank. You don't care. What are you talking about? You promise you don't care. No. Yeah, well, you. <laughs> 
It's impossible for you to be anything but amazing. Really? Dude. <laughs> You're like my best friend. Yeah, I feel the same way. It's just, I need you to know that you are really awesome. You're a beautiful person. Inside and out. You deserve only the best. I know. And that, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Like a princess. Mm, thank you. Mm -hmm. mm. I can feel your heart. Party ever. <laughs> yeah. mm. 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 Oh, I gotta pee really quick. Go pee. Okay. Right back. Don't go anywhere. Oh, I'm not doing it. Is ringing before it's. They reminded me I'm like picking up a shift tomorrow. Oh, cool! That's good. Extra money. And stuff. Yeah, it totally. But like, like it's a brunch shift. It's eight a.m. Like, oh. oh, that's fine. You don't have to go out. You can stay here. I have to be there really early. So. Let's go to sleep. But I thought you said that you had to work. I'll just get someone to sh cover it. It's not a big deal. Yeah, totally. I just like, I'm zonked. Like, the beach kind of took it out of me a little bit, and I just, uh, you know. It's been an awesome day, but I'm like emotionally exhausted. And oh. So, I don't know. Like, I think I'll probably just crash. I mean, you're welcome to stay. Like, I'm, you know. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Well, that was super fun. <laughs> best day ever. Totally best day ever. Um, sweet. Well, so I'll hit you up tomorrow when I get off. Um, or, you know, just send me a text when you wake up. Or okay, whatever. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Just, like, let me know when you get home safe.
Oh my god, yeah. don't spill your smoothie. I, I, I remember I was like, I'll be in a jacket, but I was like, everyone's wearing a jacket. I don't Did know. you have any trouble finding this place? No, it was really easy. Uh, it's in the middle of Hollywood, it's like... Yeah, aerobics. I, like, I, got a, I was a little early, so I got a juice. You got yours. I'm gonna get... That looks great. What is that? Bananas and berries. Yummy, yummy. I'll be right little. back. Don't leave. Right okay, back. I guess I'll just... I'll just I'll just chill here then. I just got back from London, oh. and so I'm way behind on work. And so I'm trying to catch up and I'm, I'm not sleeping as well because I'm so behind in all my work. I work at uh, Dell Computers Sales, so I'm always on the phone and I'm just all, I'm behind on all my clients and I'm trying to catch up and I'm like, I'm well, just stressed right now. I've never been to Europe, so I, I mean... Yeah. London's there? amazing, London's amazing. Okay, cool. Um, I wish I would have had more time. Uh, I was there for about a week and I, uh, I saw a lot of plays. Oh, so I'm cool. place. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty into theater. And it it's was cool. I saw Les Mis, uh -huh. I saw Book of Mormon, I saw oh, wow. a couple other ones. It, it, it's it's an amazing city, but I, I was just glad to get back because I had to get, I, I literally, like my boss is killing me at work, he's all over my case, it's like, yeah. it's like you've made no sales in the last three weeks, and I'm like, dude, I've been, oh, I've so been gone. Oh, so they you, it's like a, Oh my god, no, wow. it's quota. It's I work in quota. sales too. Where do you work? Uh, Urban Outfitters. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah That's where I go when I want to buy cool clothes. Welcome to the NFL. It's the Dallas Cowboys against Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Here we are in the stadium. Yeah. Like, I have the voice for it. I know the sports. Yeah, that was convincing. I can do the voice. But I just, I don't know what to, how to get those jobs. Obviously, you go, you go to school. I want to just to get your foot in the door. Like, it seemed like an easy transition. Like, oh, I'll just work at a clothing store, but that's not really getting me anywhere. I mean, it pays the I know bills, some people so. who design clothes from their own house or apartment. They just they just started doing it. Like, yeah, I guess so you just have you could to do, do that. it. Like, I yeah. just need to, I don't know. I just, it's been a weird, weird time. So I just, I don't know. I have my focus. I lost my focus for a little bit. So. I feel you. I've been like that too. I've just been... I think the past like month or so I've been really depressed. I don't know why. It's like for me, uh, what pulls me out of depression for me is like, or just distracts me, is as I play this thing called fantasy football. Are you familiar with that? Yeah, I know what it is, definitely. Yeah, you kick like five or six players to be on your team, mm -hmm. and whatever touchdowns they score that week, all the points add up and you're you know and then that's your score for the week and you're playing someone else who's picked those same players I've literally never watched a football game really not i don't know my i've like you know i've gone to some super bowl parties i just i yeah, yeah. i don't know what kind of music, I, I don't, I don't, what kind of music do you listen to um i you know i like a lot of like indie kind of folky music maybe like uh, Fiona Apple is one of my favorite artists. Gosh, she's so weird. Uh, well, I mean... I used to, yeah. I like her first album, and after that she just got too weird. She got weird, you know what, she, but I like that she's experimental, so... Yeah. A guy I was dating, he took me to the Hollywood Bowl one time. We saw, I mean, they were good. Honestly, I never have listened to any of their... Uh, they, album, they've but I, think, I like have to admit, fast. in live they were good. But, Great live, oh, they're yeah, so amazing. Yeah, they're good live, but um... I don't know, it's like you're either in or you're out on the Dave Matthews band. Like, yeah. are you like gung-ho obsessed with it or? Oh, I'm the gung-ho obsessed. I mean, I, I got a picture with him one time after one of his shows. Okay. He's the coolest guy. He'll, he'll like, really? he'll, yeah, he'll sign anybody's autograph and take photos with you. He's just a badass. You're missing out with the Dave Matthews band. Okay, all right, that's good. <laughs> um, No, it's not this one. That's the purple one. Uh, we, we can't smoke down here, huh? No, we cannot, for sure. It's shitty, because I, I would have smoked. I wish I would have known. Kind of like Jones and... Do you smoke? No, I can't. I can't stand the smoke. I, my parents have smoked their whole lives. It just... Oh. Drives me nuts. Yeah. I mean, I'm a smoker. Yeah. So, no, it's not a deal breaker. Okay. It's not a deal breaker. Alright. Good. You know. I've dated smokers before. Well, tell me more about yourself. Like, I, I, there's nothing on your profile, so like, um, what do you like to do on the weekends? Like, I don't know, like typical stuff. Go hanging with my friends and drinking. I don't know, it's, I feel like maybe I should have looked 
looked more into this. Like, maybe, <laughs> I don't know, I just said we should meet. Maybe we should have, like, had a conversation. We should have maybe figured. Yeah. So it's like, I smoke, you don't like smoke, like, you're, do your football thing, I don't like football. Well, you can leave if you want to. No, no. I mean, it's like, are you, is this, or is it working for Look, you? Look, I don't know if it's working. Look, I don't know what I'm doing, all right? Yeah. I'll be honest, I don't know what I'm doing. You don't you know, know what you're doing? I, I don't know what I'm doing with dating right now. I, I don't know what I'm. I don't know you enough to know whether we should be hanging out or not. I it don't just know. seems like I, I feel like it's like kind of forced. That's what it feels like right now. Yeah. Yes, I kind of want to go home too, to be honest. So I don't know if this is like if we're jiving. I don't think I've we are jiving. Is what I'm saying. I don't right. think we are jiving. So I've never done this before. I mean, like, have you been dating and like, is this normal? Do you guys like? Meet or I thought it was just stupid to chat online. Like I don't. It like, is I mean, you're a computer guy, but it is stupid to chat online because you don't know what that person looks like or who. If that's yeah. even the right person you're talking to. I mean, I wanted to just meet you right away because it's like let's just get the bullshit out of the way. You know, it's, dating sucks. Yeah, this does and honestly, like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing recently with dating. I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. I feel like an idiot every time I go to meet somebody new because I don't know what I'm supposed to say or what I'm supposed to do and there's no playbook for it. I, you know, I've had a shitty couple of weeks. Have you? I went to London and I had a fucking horrible experience with a woman and it was a fucking disaster. You went all the, you went all the way to London just to meet a girl? And it was a huge mistake. Uh, Did you know, you didn't know her at all before? No, we've been talking on OkCupid for like two months. I really thought we were connecting and I was stupid and I was like, let's, I should just go there and meet her and see what happens. It's a bad idea. And it was just a train wreck. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the rescue. You had shit. to realize that, I mean. It was stupid. Now I don't like, feel bad about, so bad about this. I'm like, at least I didn't go to London, shit. No, nothing can be worse <laughs> than that. At least we're just so. in the metro. I can easily go back up. I thought, I thought it was meant to be. What can I say? Whatever, I, I'm, I'm not trying to criticize you. I'm certainly, I'm not like no, it's, genius it's, in dating. I'm, just recently, single, shit went you down. You were in a long-term relationship recently? Yeah. How long? Um, we were together about like four years. It's like a marriage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty intense, so. It's not easy to I don't even out. know why, I don't even know if I should be, da like. I don't, I, I don't know whether I should be dating either, to be honest, but I'd rather go out and meet somebody than just stay at home, to be honest. Yeah, but I mean, at least like staying at home, it's not awkward. I was just over it, you know, I, I didn't, I wasn't into him anymore, I should have told him, I wanted to, you know, I, I kind of like started, I, I started pursuing another guy and it just it was fucked up, you know, we were still together and I should have told him I didn't want to be with him and then I hooked up with this guy and he found out about it and it was... How did he find out about it? Oh, he looked on my phone. I, who, I, I, it was just stupid, you know? Maybe I wanted to be caught, you know? I think I, think I just wanted the relationship to be You committed a relationship suicide. That's what I ask yeah. people do sometimes. Sometimes just breaking up with someone is hard to do. So sometimes it's just hard to have those conversations. You know, where just like, you just sit down with someone and say, I'm not in love with you anymore, I want to move on. But now sometimes I'm like, it's hard was to say I that. in love with him? Do I want him back? I don't know. You don't know? I mean, like... When I start the dating, I'm like, dating sucks. No offense, sorry, but... I agree, it totally sucks.
realized my boyfriend couldn't really dance, so I was, it was a bummer. So, you know, I always wanted to go dancing with him. I mean, as long as you try, I don't care. If you're, if you're bad, if you have fun with it, but like, as long as you're not like sticking in the mud, just like a jerk, you know, yeah. doesn't want to dance, who does that? Me. <laughs> I'm that guy. Oh. Unless I'm really drunk, then I'll get on the dance floor. Cool. Well, uh, let's go up here. All right. Yeah. All right. So here we are. So you ready to do this? I I went when I was a little kid. Well, I've never gone before, but I can tell you, I'm a natural because I was a roller skating phenom. Okay. When I was a kid. I mean, I'm probably not gonna be great, but I, I can I can do some stuff. We'll see what stuff you can do. All right. This is a date. better, the other person has to pay for dinner. Okay. This person, I'm gonna there's so steak here. I'm gonna kick your ass. That is my home territory right there. Um, no, we're good. And that includes a skate rental? Yeah. Okay. I don't think your pink socks are gonna help. I told you, you I'm into fashion and then I'm gonna bust out these socks. We're gonna see. I don't care what it looks like. All that matters is how well you skate. All right. How well I skate. Here we go. Here we nice. go. Nice. Tight. I have never worn these in my life, but it just feels like a basketball shoe. you're a natural. I'm a natural. I played basketball in high school. Oh, I roller skated my entire thing. life. Yeah, okay, all right. This shit is like second nature to me. Let's see. I mean, basketball and skating. Not really the same. Well, they're both high heels, high ankle tops. All right, well, roller skating, the, roller the skating is basically the same thing. thing. One is wheels and one is ice. You're just trying to make me think that you have giant feet. I know what's going on here.
practice until I get it. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna follow my ass until I get it. Yeah. I'm gonna be as good as you. I'm gonna be as good as you. Like yeah. yeah, yeah, just spin around a circle. I see that. Yeah. I could have done more. I just didn't want to embarrass him. You know, if I have to follow a hundred times, so gonna I'm gonna follow a hundred times. <laughs> get it. <laughs> That's how you get a girl in the sack. <laughs> the dedication. <laughs> that means I do give up. That means I do give up. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't expect it to be that painful. <laughs> I'm actually glad because it lightened the mood. Things were getting a little, a little heavy there for a second. So it was good oh, to see you make through. a fool of yourself. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna make you love football. At some point, it's gonna happen. No, I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> we'll see. We'll I'll tolerate. see. Tolerate. You can make me tolerate. Get me nice and drunk, and I'll love you. I'll get you really drunk. On that croissant, I'm gonna buy you. Oh yeah. Talk about. On our that goes well. That football and croissant. Total yeah. match. Total match. Sounds good. It's probably one of the cutest dates I've ever been on. <laughs> I mean, it started off super rocky. I was like, why am I here? Horrible. It's not over yet. It <laughs> not could get worse. Rude. Not to be rude, but uh, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Cool. We survived. We did well. <laughs> I think we did better than survive. I think we. We had some fun, and that's that's all you can really ask for. It's 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 a rough world. It's a rough, cruel world to be out there. Yeah. Nice. I like that. I'll, I'll I'll have some. I'll shed some tears late tonight privately. Okay. All right. Uh, we're not going to talk about how. Sad I will be later, but cry yourself to now. sleep. <laughs> and then next I'm time, I'm gonna call my mom and tell her that I'm sad. Next time, we can do something anymore. that you're good at. Yeah.